Good afternoon, beautiful people. We have just landed at Don Mong International Airport. And yes, <laughs> welcome to Bangkok, Thailand, to mom. There she is. Ta da! <laughs> welcome to Thailand. Welcome to Thailand. Nanasad Thailand. Thailand. Okay, so another new country for mom. It's her first time here in Thailand, guys. So. Yes, we are going to be roaming around Thailand, try different food and I'm very excited to go shopping here as well. <laughs> She's been wanting to shop when we were in Malaysia and I said just wait, our next country we will be shopping. <laughs> okay, let's go. By the way, it was such a bumpy ride from Kuala Lumpur to Bangkok. Wow, two hours. That was the longest two hours of our lives. <laughs> Mom has been like, oh, oh no, oh no, because the, the, the turbulence was super crazy and it was like going up and down. The kids were even shouting as well. But yeah, we made it safe and sound in Bangkok. Cannot wait to eat mango sticker rice and pad thai and what else? A lot of things. <laughs> to our hotel they drive really fast here by the way <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to it anyway yes we are now in Bangkok I feel like I kept repeating myself but anyway I am very excited to try their food and I have to also you know recall my phrases the phrases that I know the Thai phrases that I know so I know a few Thai phrases so we have let's see um, first Kun Chu Lai Ka I think that's what's your name Hung Nam Yu Nai Ka that's where's the toilet and then Sewari Ka we also have what else Kapung um, Ka which is thank you and then I think the numbers is like Nong Song Sam Si Ha. I'm not so sure, but before I could do one to ten in Thai, it is also kind of a tonal uh, language. And then there is also, I think those are just, oh, we have Chan Lak Kun, which is I love you. I love you, Thailand. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Anyway, I cannot wait to eat. Pad Thai, Tom Yam Gong, uh, Pad Kapao Mukro, my favorite, and of course mango sticky rice. So we're gonna have mom try the authentic food here in uh, Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, hopefully we can bring mom to Chinatown because that's where we can have some good street food as well. I think we're pretty close to our hotel now. Alright guys, we have finally checked in here in our hotel. So as usual, I'm going to give you guys a quick room tour. So we're going to start over here by the door. As soon as you enter, we have this cabinet and there is a safe over there. We got slippers and then to the right, we have here our bathroom and shower. Ta-da! This is the current situation i got my stuff there already i curled my hair earlier so that's why it's there anyway it's spacious and we have a walk-in shower everything is looking clean i love it Ta -da! all right let's continue here we have a small fridge some water over here we have this really long desk it's great for you know working and we have a tv and then we have a tween bed so mom is here chilling like a villain <laughs> all right nice frame over here we got two and then all right tween bed is looking neat i love it and we have that warm lighting that's very cool and then we have a sitting area right here this is great as well because you can work you can do your makeup and then this is our view Ta-da! we are just on the second floor so we don't really have a view to be honest but yeah it is such a nice place we are by the way staying at the picnic hotel 
This is just around 25 minutes drive by car from Don Mong Airport, so it was pretty quick actually coming here from the airport. And the nearest BTS station that we have is the Victory Monument. So I think we have around seven to eight stops to the middle or the center of Bangkok, which is like Sayam area or Sukhumvit. But it's great because we don't need to interchange the line. Anyway, so uh, how much are we paying here? So we're staying here for three nights and that costs 6,700 pesos. So yeah, there you go. It's very cool. I love the security, by the way, because as soon as we got out of the grab, uh, he helped us with our luggage. So that was a very nice touch. Anyway, right now, I'm really hungry. So I'm just waiting for the vlog to be uploaded. We're going to head out, guys, because we're going to have some Thai food, my favorite food. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we're out and about, and we are jumping in a tuk-tuk. Actually, this is mom's first time to ride a tuk-tuk, so that's why I decided we're gonna let her experience the tuk-tuk or tricycle. So we are heading to Sayam Paragon to have some late lunch. And uh, Kuya, the driver, is asking for 200 baht. It's like 300 pesos. I know it is uh, overpriced, but it's okay. It's for mom's experience. <laughs> Welcome to Bangkok! From <laughs> Thailand! <laughs> it's actually nice uh, riding this. Woo! Oh. Not when we bang into this really big truck, Kuya. Uh, we still want to eat some good food. <laughs> Crazy! Whoa, it's very refreshing. This is just like jeepney in the Philippines, you know? We also have a tuk tuk or. Tricycle. Tricycle, yeah, tricycle. tricycle. But this one is more airy. Woo! <laughs> Let's go, Bangkok! everyone we made it here in Sayam Paragon and now we're having our very late lunch actually this is gonna be dinner already so we are here in this boat noodle restaurant I forgot what it's called exactly like the name of the restaurant but yeah I've tried it here before and it's really tasty I love the food here so we're having noodles Ta -da! so I chose the vermicelli noodles guys and it's got pork and then that one okay mom is here again struggling with the chopsticks am i gonna feed you <laughs> you can do it just try to grip get a good grip actually this one's spicy the spicy uh, level that i chose is just one so hopefully we could take it because i know that they really love spicy food here in thailand guys let's eat bon appetit is it good? Huh? Spicy or not? Hmm? Mm? Okay. Mmm! Spicy! Mmm! <laughs> this is so good. Mmm! Of course, I got Thai milk tea. Why not? Mmm! Good job in using the chopstick. <laughs> the meat is so tender, it's falling off. Mm. 
Thai food is just so good. I don't know why. The best. <laughs> Mom said, "Wow, I can I can do the chopsticks now." <laughs> Mmm. Oh, the meat is so tender, guys. Look at that. Ooh. Mmm. It's falling off the chopstick. Nanet. <laughs> Did you try the soup? It's good, no? Mmm. Napa yes na o? English na. Mm. Wow. So yummy. Right, we're done with our dinner guys. Now we're here in Sayam Square. I'm looking for a gentlewoman flagship store. It's located in Sayam Square. We were a bit lost earlier. <laughs> I was having a hard time navigating because I didn't want to use my data. Anyway, we finally found it. This is quite a hippie area. It's very lively. There's a lot of like people my age i would say uh, i think this is a new thing it's my first time here in um sayam square i would say yeah so gentlewoman is over there we're gonna check it out finally let's see what the hype is all about i have been seeing gentlewoman tote bags everywhere so i'm definitely gonna get one myself hopefully they will have some because i feel like all ladies are going there Ta -da! There it is. guys we are done in gentlewoman oh my gosh the hype is real the people inside are getting really crazy as soon as the bags gets put in the stand everyone's just grabbing it so we got the goods where is it Ta -da! wow mom was shopping look gentlewoman is over there it actually has four floors so this one here in Sayam Square is the flagship store so they got unlimited stocks it's just that they were trying to hold off or to control the stocks because people are hoarding it and then reselling it at a higher price especially in philippines they're selling it really really high so for the people for all the filipinos that love gentlewoman you can come here and yeah you just have to wait for the staff to put all of the stocks in the um the stall and then you can grab them all right mom is now hungry i can 
feel some drizzle. Looks like it's gonna rain. Boy, maguwan man. Hulu no sila crap. Let me be any me. Look, this is crap, guys. This one is very delicious, by the way. But mom is looking for something. Oh no, it's gonna rain. <laughs> it's gonna rain. We gotta keep inside. Okay, maybe here. Look. Let's see. We're still in Sam Square, guys, and they're selling some street food. Oh, center point. What about there? Mom wants some hot soup. Let's see if we can find some. Fashion zone. Dima na okay okay. Mom thought that those are okay okay, guys. Okay okay is like second hand items. But they're not. They're actually nice clothes, but it is drizzling, so that's why you can see they are putting in all of the plastic bags to cover the goods. Huh? Yeah, those are a bit uh, cheaper than in Gentlewoman. <laughs> Look at mom. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Get close to Manila, me. They're closing it. Yeah, but you cannot get it. Ta da! Right, come on, let's go. people good evening we finally made it here in our hotel so we decided to take a bts from sayam going here in the picnic hotel and i was actually wrong earlier <laughs> i said that we do have seven to eight stops going to sayam but it's only three stops and mom was telling me earlier we're here already and i'm like yeah and she was like why is it that when we were in the tuk-tuk earlier, it was taking so long? And I said, because of traffic jam. Traffic in Bangkok is also real, okay? So, yeah, I just really want her to experience uh, riding a tuk-tuk. I mean, we do have kind of like a tuk-tuk in the Philippines, also in Cebu specifically, but it looks pretty different. Ours is like a bit enclosed, and the one they have here looks pretty open like yeah and they drive really fast fast here so yeah i on her first day i want her to experience tok tok because that's what most tourists would do when they're in bangkok on the first day okay so anyway today has been very productive i'm also very tired at the same time uh we went to gentlewoman for some people that don't know what Gentlewoman is, it's a Thai brand which actually went viral recently and a lot of people a lot of people are wearing this tote bag that has Gentlewoman on and yeah, it captured my eye. So that's why I want to check it out. We went to this flagship store and everyone is going crazy. Like we had to wait for the staff to put the stocks on the stand in order for us to get it <laughs> like how crazy it is but yeah welcome to bangkok thailand everyone welcome to bangkok mother <laughs> she's been wanting to come here actually she has been telling me she wants to visit hong kong but maybe next time we'll see um hopefully we can bring scarlet and my sis by that time because there is a disneyland in hong kong so Anyway, hi, it's unfortunately raining on our first day in Bangkok, so 
too bad. I was wanting to bring mom to Chinatown because they have really good street food there. But maybe we can do that by tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will cooperate. And then, yeah, we'll just take it lightly today. Um, Traveling can be exhausting guys, okay? I know like some people would get so envious and jealous that oh MJ is always traveling, going here and there but it's actually pretty tiring because you have to wake up very early because you want to make the most out of your time out of the country or on the place that you're going to. So you're gonna keep on walking the entire day, you're gonna do a lot of stuff, trying this and that and yeah this is what i do this is what i love doing traveling is really nice i mean it's my passion that's why i keep doing it this is what i do <laughs> and i want to share that to my mom so this is your sign to bring your mom to traveling or travel with your mom at least once um, in their lifetime <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be internationally if you can international then that's great if not travel locally would be great so yeah this is uh, such a good bond you'll get to be with your mom 24 7 and deal with them <laughs> being an oldie already <laughs> like you have to have a lot of patience because you have to adjust but yeah anyway it's been fun second new Actually, this is the third. So Singapore, Malaysia, and now we're in Thailand. And let's see where are we going next after this. Actually, Europe. <laughs> we'll see, guys. But mm. Okay, so I might give you a haul of what are the stuff we got in Gentlewoman or not. You can follow me on Instagram. I'll do a Gentlewoman haul there.